Okay, this week we're looking at three case studies um, in chapter 11 focused on race and ethnicity in the United States. The first is the Confederate flag versus the First Amendment. Um, if you've seen any of the news, say from 2016 on in the US, a lot of controversy, not just about Confederate flags, but about Confederate monuments. So a great opportunity to focus on the expression um, that is sometimes found in symbols of the Confederacy or language of the Confederacy and the First Amendment, the freedom of speech. Um, second, we have, I would say related, sports teams with Native American names. So um, the Washington Redskins really comes to mind in terms of just controversies. Um, they were recently denied, was it 2014 or 2015? Um, they were denied by the um, patent office or trademark office the opportunity to actually use that name. So there's a lot of controversy relevant to um, these uh, sports teams that have Native American names that are often very offensive to the people from those cultures. Uh, for example, the Braves, you know, what does a Brave mean and so forth. So a lot to maybe debate this week relevant to um, or relative to Native American team names. And then lastly is Arizona Senate Bill 1070, which requires uh, that during a, a lawful stop, detention, or arrest, the police officers have to establish immigration status of anyone they may um, suspect to be here illegally. And so the question is, you know, what is going on in Arizona? Is that a violation of civil liberties? What do you think about a case like this? Um, so I think you'll have a lot of cases to focus on this week. Again, as you do your discussions, look at some of the supplemental uh, materials uh, in particular. Look at Peggy McIntosh's The Importance of Being White. It's a very good essay that focuses on uh, class privilege. And then I've also included a few documentary films relevant to race and ethnicity that you can also check out this week as we consider chapter 11 in our sociological text.